Will I keep photographing wildlife? That is the big question that I am facing. And the answer is, well, yes, I am going to keep going to photograph wildlife, but at a reduced pace. Not so much age is slowing me down, but my health. About three years ago, I had a heart operation and it slowly improved. But over the last six months, I've noticed that my health has deteriorated a bit. I can't walk too far. And in mid-September, we went to Tasmania. We went to Cradle Mountain and Dove Lake. And that was the only time I really exerted myself. I did about a four hour walk, but I really paid for it over the next week. It took me that long to recover. By the time I came home, I was totally knackered. Went to see my doctor and he said, you know, you've got to slow down. You can see that I wear glasses all the time. It's not so much that I need glasses to read because my eyes are getting old, but my left eye has a cataract. To give you an example of how bad my cataract is, on my right eye, this is a sort of image that I see. But on my left eye, this is what I saw. About two weeks ago, I had a cataract operation. And these glasses here, look, there's no lens in here because my left eye here is fairly good. Now I have to wait around five months to get my right eye operated on because it also has a cataract, but not as bad. So not only with my heart problems, but also having the problem with my cataract in the left eye. When I walked around, I ended up having really bad headaches because I was out in the sun. But you know, in life, sometimes we feel down on ourselves. We feel like, am I going to give up this great hobby of mine is photographing wildlife. Am I going to go back to just thinking like, okay, well, I'll do sunrises or I'll do sunsets, maybe the odd storm, and I'm just going to have to content with that. In reality, it just means having to slow down and just go out when I can go out. But I'm still going to be doing wildlife videos. This is why in the last couple of months you've seen nearly all my videos have been at home because I haven't gone out apart from when I did a quick walk around Lake Eden. And you know, sometimes nature comes to you. I've been able to photograph birds without even leaving my driveway. And about a month ago, I took some photos of some butcher birds raising their young. It was a great experience because they were right up close to our yard. And these birds nest in leopard trees. And we have two leopard trees right on the boundary line of our house. These are the two leopard trees here. Now, if you're not familiar with leopard trees, during the winter time, they're deciduous. They lose all their leaves. But when it comes spring, they have a weird way of bringing out their leaves. And that is that it all pushes up. But then within about a month, all the leaves drop off and then the leaves come back on. And then we have a very shady tree all through summer until autumn. Well, in the first period when it got really bushy, that's when the butcher birds nested. We also had peewees in there. And then the leaves start to drop off. And what did I notice? But the fig birds had come and nested in this tree. And two days ago, I had the enjoyment of taking photos and taking some video of these birds. I just want to share with you to show you that sometimes we shouldn't be down on ourselves. We should just appreciate what we can photograph or what we can take videos of because I bought my Nikon Z6 II and sold the D500 because I want to take more videos. So I'm just going to share here the butcher birds feeding their chicks. This was right on the paling fence that separates our veranda to the front yard. And I was within about three meters of these birds. It was just so nice seeing them. If you're not familiar with butcher birds, this is what the fledgling looks like. They're just gray. This is the adult male. Here is the three little fledglings in a small bottle brush tree just in our front yard here. You can see there's one, two, and one right in the middle now. The three little fledglings were just in this little bottle brush tree being fed by their parents. And it was just so amazing to see this. The leopard tree has lost its leaves and now I could see where the butcher birds has nested. This is its nest close up. Here's another short video of the parent butcher birds feeding their fledglings in this leopard tree. This is so nice and this is why I like taking videos of these birds. Getting back to the fig birds that are nesting and they've got little chicks in the nest at the moment. If you're not familiar with fig birds, the adult male is on the left, the adult female is on the right. 
And I took this photo just two days ago and the arrow points to where the fig birds were nesting. You can see quite a few other little nests in there, but I'll get onto them a bit later. They look far, but from my veranda, I had a very good view to be able to take photos and video of these fig birds as they were feeding their chicks. This is the adult male coming in to feed its chicks. This was taken just from the gate at our veranda. This video was taken just yesterday afternoon. You could see this like golden light just before sunset. This is the female coming in to feed the chicks. And what you could saw there is she had dropped some little berries. She had swallowed them. Now she's going to regurgitate them to feed their young. Every year we get a pair of fig birds and every few years we see peewees. But this year has been a very busy year for these two leopard trees. In this first photo here, you can see the arrows pointing to another fig bird nest. And this is their nest and you can see there's a bird on the nest and this is the male fig bird. What I think is happening is that the chicks, as they raise up the following year, they mature and we're getting a very big family of fig birds nesting in these two trees. And this is just amazing. Now I was telling you about peewees. And this photo shows you the magpie larks, or we call them peewees, where they nested in this tree. I didn't notice a nest because at that time, the tree was fully covered in leaves. I only realized that they had nested there when I saw the fledglings in our front yards being fed by the peewees. When the leaves fell off, I could clearly see the nest. We also have crows that have started to come to nest in the second leopard tree. All the other birds were really giving them a hard time, but they still raised two chicks in their nest. And I want to show you that sometimes we sort of get caught up in our doom and gloom and we get depressed and feeling that the world is caving in on us. And if that's you, I know it's hard, but look at the positives. I'm sure that not too far from where you live, you could just go and sit in a park and you will see some wildlife around. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do stay safe, enjoy your wildlife photography, no matter how far or how close to home you photograph wildlife, and I'll see you next time.